Hello everyone, this is Rahul and in today's session we are gonna see how to pass environment variables into the Helm chart. So the question comes, why do we need to pass the environment variables into the Helm chart? As you know, whenever you create a Helm chart, so you get values.yml along with it. So that is your template where you specify the values. So consider an example, you have created a Hello World Helm chart where you have uh, your values.yml and inside that values.yml you have a replica count equals one. Let's switch over to terminal and see what I mean by the values.yml and replica count one. So I have created a hello world helm chart already. So this is my hello world helm chart. If I switch into that directory and here you will see this is my values.yml. So whenever you create a very basic helm chart then by default values.yml comes with it. And if you see the content of values.yml then you will see uh, the replica count. The replica count is always one by default. So whenever you are going to install this Helm chart, so the, there will be only one replica which is being created for your Hello World. Let's do one thing. Let's install this Hello World Helm chart where we have by default uh, replica count that is one. So it is going to create only one replica inside our Kubernetes cluster. So to install this Helm chart, what we need to do is we need to get one directory up and uh, you can see uh, this is my Hello World Helm chart. I'll clear the screen and this is our Hello World directory for hello world helm chart actually and the command for the installation is helm install uh, followed by your release name release can name can be anything of your choice so i'm gonna put hello world uh, it should be like hello world one and after that you need to put actual helm chart name so that is hello world okay and i'm gonna install it Okay, now the installation has been done. Let's go and verify the replica. So for that, you need to run the command cube ctl get deployment. And here you can see uh, our hello world Helm chart has been installed and the replica count is one. That's why we have only one replica running inside your Kubernetes cluster. Okay, coming back to our slide where we have seen the values.yml where we have defined the replica count one and we have installed the Helm chart. But the next question is, can't we just overwrite this value using command line interface? So what does it mean? Uh, do we always need to go and update the values.yml to increase the replica count? Okay, let's consider in a scenario, you are in a production environment where you have already Hello World Helm chart running. Hello World is just an example. I'm just keeping it for simplicity. So you're running this Hello World exam, uh, Helm chart inside your production cluster where the replica count is one, but somehow you need to increase the replica count to two or three. Okay, so are you going to go into the values.yml? Are you gonna update the values.yml? So there is an easy way where you can just use the command line interface and you can just increase the replica count by issuing the command. And the command for that is, and here you can see the command is helm install. It's the same command which we have used, but there are few parameters which we are going to add. So the parameter are helm install followed by the keyword set. Then you need to specify the replica count and the number. So I'm going to put the replica count to two. And after that, you need to specify the release name. Okay. So again, you can keep any release name of your choice and followed by your actual hello world helm chart. Okay. Let's go back to terminal and see how we can do that. But first of all, we need to delete this release because we are going to again use the same release name. So the command for deletion is helm delete followed by your release name. So I'm just going to copy and paste it over here. So it's going to delete the uh, release name. Okay. And also one more thing, uh, this is the guide which I have prepared for you. Uh, so you can come back and copy the commands from here also. So you don't need to remember any of the command. So I'll put the link of this guide into the description section. So you can follow this guide anytime uh, whenever you feel comfortable. Okay, so this is the command helm install set replica count to release name and the actual uh, hello world name. Uh, here the name is different, but we can change it. Okay, so go back, going back to terminal, uh, I'm going to paste the command over here. Okay, sorry. So the command is incorrect because the name is uh, world over here. So I need to correct the name here is hello world. Okay. 
and just hit the enter. So here you can see our command has been executed successfully and we can verify the deployment kubectl get deployment. So here you can see the replica count is two out of which one is ready but second is about to get up. So uh, if we rerun the command get deployments hopefully it should be up and running. Okay it's taking time so it should be up uh, in some time. Okay, so here you can see uh, now we can run the two replica set or the two replica count of a hello world uh, release. So this is the way you can use the command line interface to increase the replica count using the CLI which is provided by Helm chart. So what benefit you are getting over here is you don't need to go and update the values.yml manually. You can just do it by using command line interface. So that's the benefit you will get if you are running uh, this kind of uh, 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 release on your production environment. So you can just use the command line interface and increase the replica count inside your uh, Kubernetes cluster using the Helm chart. All right, moving further, uh, is there a way we can overwrite the values uh, inside our command? So the answer is yes, you can overwrite the values. And here you can see in this example, we are using the same command Helm install. We are using the same variable replica count. Uh, initially, we are setting the value to two. And after that, we are again setting it the value to the three. So here we are trying to overwrite the values which we have assigned previously from two. Okay, so that is also possible, but this feature is like very less often uh, used uh, because it will create a lot of complexity if you keep on using quite a lot in your production or staging environment. But uh, just for example purpose, we are going to run this command and see is it really going to override this value or not. Okay, first of all, let's delete the previous release. So the command is helm delete followed by the release name. So hello world one and I'm going to delete the release. All right, now it has been deleted. Uh, I'm just going to copy the command from the guide and the command is this. And I'm just going to head back to terminal and paste it over here. So here you can see uh, we are increasing the replica count from two. Okay, let's run the kubectl get deployment command to verify the replica count. So the command is uh, kubectl get deployment. And here you can see there are three replica set which is running inside our Kubernetes cluster. Okay, uh, before we move ahead, let's delete this release. So the command is. Okay, so now we have seen like how we can override the values and how we can increase the replica count of our Hello World Helm chart. Okay, moving further, is there a way we can create my own values.yml? So this is my own values YML uh, where I can define my own variable. So I'm not going to use the values.yml which is provided by Helm chart, but instead I'm going to create this new file and I can keep any name of my choice. So just for the example purpose, I'm keeping the myValues.yml and I'm going to define the replica count to two. So in this way, you can define your own values.yml and you can keep your own variable name with their values. So this feature is also provided by our Helm chart. Okay, let's head back to our guide and here you can see uh, this is the uh, myValues.yml which we need to create. So I'm just going to copy this command and it's basically doing just the vi actually. So I'm just going to clear it and uh, I'm just going to create the file vi values.yml and I'm going to paste the count that is replica count 2 and I'm just going to save and quit. So here you can see I have created my values.yml along with my hello world helm chart. Okay, let's head back to our guide and this is the command which we are going to run. So the command is helm install followed by the uh, flag that is f and after that you need to specify your my values.yml followed by your release name that is hello world release and your actual helm chart that is hello world. So I'm just going to copy this command and paste it into my terminal. So here you can see uh, the command. So command is helm install followed by the keyword f that is I think force and that is your uh, values.yml that is my values.yml which you have created recently. Then again you are going to specify your release name and followed by your actual hello world helm chart and then just gonna hit enter. And 
as it has installed successfully so again we are going to verify it kubectl get deployment so here you can see uh, there are two replica set out of which none has started so it should start in a couple of seconds let's rerun the command again and here you can see the replica count is 2. So this is the way you can create your own myValues.yml. You can specify the variable or the replica count values inside it. And then you can just apply this uh, command using the uh, F flag and uh, supplying the myValues.yml file name. Uh, the file name can be different in your case. So just supply that file name and your release name uh, and then followed by your Helm chart. Okay, so before moving further, let's delete this release, Helm delete. So till now we have seen three ways to define your environment variables and pass into our Helm chart. But is there any other way by which you can pass key value pair? So yes, there is a, one more way. It is a little bit uh, tricky, I would say, because you will have a multiple values inside your key value pair. And here you can see this is our example map where we are passing username as well as value. So here uh, in this example map, I am passing username. The value is test1 and the password, the value is test2. So this is this kind of a key pair I am trying to pass it over here. Okay, so let's head back to our guide and see how we can achieve that. So okay so for that we are going to create one more file that is environment values uh, this is a new file apart from the my values file which we have created in the previous step number third so first of all just copy this command and create this uh, environment values where we are going to define this uh, key value pair i'll clear the screen i'll paste the command so now we are inside the environment uh, values.yml so the file is empty but i'm just gonna copy this content over here i'm just gonna save and quit so now we can see we have environment values.yml also okay now head back to our guide and how we can use that so to use those variable you need to iterate it and how we are going to iterate we are going to iterate using this uh, uh, configuration actually so you need to define environment variable after that after that you need to define the range and then in the range you need to define the values of your key value map okay so the key value map is example map so here you can see if you check the name the name is example map so we are just gonna use the same name over here and after that we are just gonna iterate with this range okay so the range means uh, how many variables inside that map so here we are having two variables so in that range we are going to iterate those values okay so for that what we need we need to edit our deployment.yml because we are going to use this script or not it's just not a script but it's just a yml configuration but we're just going to use this yml configuration inside our deployment.yml okay okay so i'm just going to copy this configuration from here and head back to my terminal and i'm going to open the deployment.yml in a vi mode so that we can edit it so i will go to the directory template and then i'm going to open deployment.yml okay so here we need to look for the line that is image pull policy over here and here i'm going to insert that configuration so i'm just going to go into the edit mode uh, but I think this configuration you can paste it anywhere in the YML but you need to look for the syntax otherwise it might throw some error because you might have inserted at the wrong place so be careful about that and here I'm gonna just paste the content which I have copied so here we need to correct one thing this environment the spacing actually otherwise it might throw some error uh, while we uh, render this template okay that looks perfect i'm just gonna save and quit okay so now uh, we have edited our deployment.yml and we have inserted this placeholder for the range and the key value map which we want to print over here okay so now how we can see the content so for that we have a command helm template f then the uh, yml name that is environment values dot yml where we have stored these values uh, i have shown over here this example map so in that file we have stored those values and after that the hello world 
our actual Helm chart name. One thing you might be wondering why I'm using the Helm template command over here instead of Helm install. So the reason for that I'm using Helm template is we want to see the actual values once the template is generated. If I directly run the Helm install command, then you won't be able to see the values which are uh, like printed in this uh, configuration. Okay, that's why I'm using the Helm template command. And if you don't know what is Helm template command, then I have a separate session on this Helm series, uh, which I have posted earlier. So you can go back and check the details about the Helm template command. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this command and uh, I'll clear the screen and I'll paste it over here. So as soon as you paste this command, then you can see the complete YML which is generated. So here you will see service YML uh, with the actual values which is going to deploy inside your Kubernetes cluster. So here you can see all the details. But we are interested in deployment.yml because we have edited deployment.yml and we have inserted that configuration, this one on the right hand side if you can see this one. So just go back uh, below and here if you remember I have mentioned the image pool policy tag inside the YML. So this is my image policy tag and after that we have inserted our uh, scripts uh, for environment and the example map. So here is the values which is like iterated and printed in the deployment.yml. So this is how you uh, process the environment variable if you have a multiple key value uh, pair. So this is how you're going to store it inside your external file. So that external file name is environment values.yml, but you can keep anything of your choice. And uh, after that, you should uh, test it with the Helm template command. And after that, it should be OK to just uh, run the install command. I hope you liked the today's session on how to pass environment variables into the Helm chart. And uh, if you have any question related to the today's session, then please put down into the comment section. I'll try to get back to you. If you're new to the channel, then you can find me on YouTube with the name Rahul Vag or either Jhook. And on this channel, you will find the lab session, similar lab session on DevOps, Kubernetes, Helm chart. And uh, soon there will be Terraform also coming. So stay tuned. And also, if you are interested in the guides, which I keep on preparing uh, for the lab session, then you can find me on the web with the name jhook.com. So here you will find all the guides which I have prepared for all the lab sessions, which I kept, uh, which I usually uh, take on the YouTube. So you can find all those guides over here. So you don't need to remember any of the commands. So you can just come back here and you can just feel free to use those commands. So stay tuned and see you into the next session. Bye-bye.